Hi everyone, Anna Kessler here with a new video tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to use all those leftover sticker sheets that you probably have. There are always those letters that we don't use, right? And then we are left with half-used letter stickers and sticker sheets and so on. So the first idea is to add texture. I'm going to use leftover stickers that I have it doesn't matter what size they are, it doesn't matter what color they are, you just want them to have a little bit of texture. And I'm going to attach them to a scrapbook page, and then I'm going to show you how to make them part of the page. So I'm taking white gesso and I simply color or cover all those letter stickers with white gesso have to make sure to go to all the little nooks and crannies and cover them. This is the first layer. It's not enough because you can still see the different colors of the stickers. So you want to make sure that you cover them with a second layer or even a third layer if necessary because you want them all to be white. What you need is only the texture, the shape, and the risen part of the letter. You don't want the color. Then you can do whatever you want with your background. You can add sprays like I do, and then make a scrapbook page with a beautiful texture. In this case, you use the letters as shapes and not to make words that means anything. So this is the first idea, to add letter stickers to create texture on a background. You can do it on a card, on a scrapbook page, on a canvas, etc. The next idea is to create an art journal page and add a title. You can add a title to any project that you make, an art journal page, a scrapbook page, a mini album, a card. The idea is to create the background. This is less important. I just want to show you how I made a little bit of how I made the art journal page, but the idea is to use the leftover letter stickers. So I'm just adding a few circles to my page. They're all very black and white and the idea is to add color to the page with letter stickers. So I'm using one letter of each of my sticker sheets. So I have different fonts, different colors, different shapes and this way I can use mix and match and use different letter stickers from different sheets and pick the ones that I need from each sheet. This way if you're left with C's on one sheet and R's on another sheet, you can use them without having to use the entire um, sheet to assemble the word that you need. So just mix and match to create a title. In this case, add color really works well with this theme because each of the letters is in a different color. This is how it looks when it's finished. And the last idea is to make a background for an art journal page. This technique is really cool. I really like it. Again, you need to use leftover stickers and it doesn't really matter what size or what shape just as long as they are letters. You see I have different sheets here. We're going to make a really cool background. So just take a tea towel or something, of just a piece of fabric because what we're going to make or do is to first attach each of the letter stickers to the fabric or the towel just to weaken the, the glue behind it. We want the adhesive on the back of the sticker not to be so strong. We want it to be weak. So I'm aligning or I'm arranging all the letters in different directions all over my page in a funnel shape. This is how I wanted them to be. And then I'm going to cover them with gesso. And the next step is to add color to the background. I'm using gelatos, but you can use acrylic paints, sprays, crayons, 
whatever you want to just color the entire page with a few colors. I'm using yellow, green, and blue. Now comes the magic. Once you have all the colors on your page, we are going to very gently remove all the letter stickers. It's not going to be a problem since the adhesive on this, those stickers is very weak. Remember, we put them first on the fabric. So when you remove them, you're going to see the white space that is left beneath them because there is no color there, there is no paint. So this is a really cool background to create on a card, on a scrapbook page, and on an art journal page. So this is how the page looks when it's finished. It's all about words and letters. So I really hope you like this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video so you won't miss anything. And these are the three ways to use leftover stickers. See you next time.